This roadmap covers everything that is needed for you to become an RPA developer. Don't be overwhelmed because you're not needed to learn everything at the beginning when you're just getting started. We'll try to cover a lot of questions like how to learn, where to learn from, and what exactly to learn. So you want to be an RPA developer? Here I am, well, it's completely doable. Yes, you can do it. I can show you how you can get it, what you have to read, and how exactly you have to learn. If that sounds interesting to you, follow along. Before even you start learning, it's important to set a timetable. It can be for two months, four months, six, or even a year. But it's important to track everything, your progress, and hold yourself accountable and try to meet your deadline. If you're able to dig in and commit 20 to 25 hours per week, it's awesome. But what if you have only few hours left in your day to invest in RPA development? That's absolutely fine too. Spending at least an hour can get you close to your skills that are needed for you to become an RPA developer. Just make some progress every day and keep learning new things that will add on on your profile. Consistency is the key here. You just make sure that you're learning new things every week and keep your eyes on the new technologies coming up. That way you make sure that you're learning new things and you're not forgetting something that you have already learned as you move along. At this early stage, it's good to keep in mind that programming isn't that easy and you'll be going to have some roadblocks in between your RPA journey. And believe me, it's going to be worth it. And you'll be able to put yourself in a position where you wanted to be in. So what are the different levels through which an RPA developer passes through? Let's quickly jump in and look at those elements. So first thing, beginner's level. So what exactly do you need to get there? You should be able to understand the basics of .NET and better if you can do the UiPath level one certification and try out some web automation, desktop automation and email automation kind of processes. Intermediate level. At this level, people will expect you to have knowledge of orchestrator, RE framework implementation, then they will expect you to have some debugging and troubleshooting skills and few other automations like SAP, automating some processes which uses SAP and then some database integrations. Advanced level. At this level, people will expect you to be in a position to design a solution for an automation process and you should be capable of building custom activities wherever needed and then you should have a minimum knowledge of licensing the UiPath product licensing and then they will expect you to have knowledge on API automation and mainframes automation. The final level, the pro level. Here you should be good with insights and dashboards and have a good knowledge of AI fabric and computer vision and then finally you should be very good at in UiPath infra management. With that we have covered all the levels needed for you to become an RPA developer. Finally I encourage you to start today. You could be building awesome robots in a week's time.